Day one of the cello project went swimmingly. I put together this exciting little number here. Uh, this is all made out of the finest cardboard available. Um, a lot more went into this than probably should have given that it um, by no means plays. Don't be deceived by these strings. These, uh, these do not do anything. But it was a good way to, as most models are, see where the hurdles in a final product of this thing are going to come into play. Um, just by enumerating and then trying to build a smaller replica of all the bits that I'm going to need. Now granted this isn't absolutely all of them, but it's most of them. Uh, and let's just go around them real quick here. We've got this top board here first. It's got the iconic F holes, which I have quite lazily uh, gouged out with one of these pins, I believe. I think I used one of these things right here. There's no way that's going to focus on that. Um, you got this bridge here, which is where the strings rest. Uh, there's a saddle back here. This may actually be inaccurate. I need to go to a store or actually see a cello in real life, which I actually have never seen one in person for the purpose of just like looking at it. So I'll probably fix that today. But regardless, I have to figure out how this backboard dealie goes on. And um, in order to do that, oh God, this is going to have a hell of a time focusing. Um, this is supposed to sit back here with, uh, and there's a little bass bar in the back of there that's for harmonic purposes on the back of the, uh, on the back of the front. And that just slides on in here. Uh, this rests back here, but I'm not entirely sure how. I know that there is an extra string that wraps around the back here of my uh, sick hot glue peg but I'm not entirely sure if it's just friction that holds it in place. I need to ask someone who actually knows. Uh, I got this little post back here. This actually does move in and out if uh, I'm careful about it. And it goes out. Um, and we got the fingerboard. The fingerboard, obviously, the strings don't sit on the fingerboard, which allows you to actually uh, play the thing by pressing down and uh, making the harmonic notes uh, by reducing the length of any particular string to the length desired. Um, and then I actually made a little pegboard here which actually works, uh, which is insane and a complete waste of time, but you know, it was fun. And then this scroll serves no purpose aside from an aesthetic one. So there's a handful of stuff that isn't modeled here. For example, there's a bowl to the base um, that I didn't actually account for. Stop going out of focus. Um, you have to actually carve that into the design. Um, but I didn't do that on this one because it's cardboard. Come on, folks. Uh, and then we got this little sound post which attaches the top to the bottom. Not sure entirely what I want to get done today aside from see a cello in person, but that's probably going to take most of the day anyway. So day one in the bag.